First dates can be pretty nerve-wracking. For many, first dates are the scariest part of starting a new relationship, especially if they are really interested in someone. Hello, my friends. It's Tando here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button to never miss new videos that we are creating especially for you. Today, we're gonna talk about five questions you should ask yourself before and after the first date. We may have been disappointed in the past. We may have experienced a lot of heartbreaks. So we just really want to be sure that this time we do things the right way. The most important is to give yourself a chance at any potential new beginnings. It's even more important to stay mindful about the date. So here are five questions you should try to answer before and after the first date. The first one is to ask yourself, who am I? Or maybe even the better question is, who do I want to be? What are my interests? What am I passionate about? What do I tolerate? And what are the things I will never agree to? What are my limitations? Where does my comfort zone end? Do I want to overcome my limitations and in what areas? What are the steps I need to take? It is hard to expect from a homebody to start parachute jumping in one day. So take some time to think about those questions. Another question to ask yourself is do I know who and what am I looking for? Is it a long-term relationship or just a fling that will make me happy now? Do I have space for a new person in my life? Am I ready to discover the world through new partner's eyes? One thing is certain. No one will make you happy more than yourself. Before inviting anybody to your life, either for a short or long time, make sure you are grateful for all that you already have. Invite happiness, joy and love to your life before inviting a person. The more you create happiness in diverse aspects of your life, the more attractive you will be for your partner. And that will make any new relationship even better. Third question you should ask is, do I write scenarios in my head? So are you going for your first date with an upfront scenario in your head? He will munch on food or she will be a skimpy tip or our conversation will be shallow and weird. The trouble with having all these scenes in your head is that you start judging the person based on your predictions and assumptions rather than on who the person truly is. If you realize that you do some of these, then be aware of them and make an effort of going with an open mind and open heart. Instead of expecting the worst to happen, Try to relax and enjoy the other person. The tone of their voice, their smile while talking about even embarrassing adventures and the way how your date treats others. It may turn out you love your date's sparkle in the eye more than their annoying sweaty hands. Fourth question is how well do you know your date so far? How do you feel about her, him so far? Could you see this interaction turning into a relationship? You have already had some communication. Do you know what kind of person your date is? Is it somebody that makes you happy and curious? If you are not sure, maybe get to know them a little more before going on a first date. You should be aware of what you want from this experience based on how you feel. It is very important to have a good understanding of your feelings at the beginning, even though emotions might change later on. 
How do you like where things are going so far? Think whether this is someone you could build a relationship with. Establishing this early will help to avoid any bizarre conversations. The last questions we recommend to ask after the date. Was there any chemistry after all? Make sure you have your feelings checked. This is the most important part of starting a new relationship of any kind. The checklist which can help you understand your first date is simple. Is you feel at ease with the person almost immediately. You are comfortable just being yourself. You sense that your partner is as open as you are to new experience. You don't have the impression you are forced to become somebody you are not. Your date makes you laugh and vice versa. Getting each other's sense of humor is a good clue to happily ever after. Out of those five questions, my friends, which one you have never thought of before? Share your comments down below with us. We're very curious to hear from you. Thank you so much for taking your time from your day watching this video. We hope you enjoyed and you learned something new. If you liked, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button to never miss new videos that we are creating especially for you. Thank you again and see you next time!